Again, good evening, you gorgeous, wonderful Cryptopians. How are you doing there, you blessed souls? I really apologize not for being able to get onto my live stream tonight for us, but that don't matter nothing because we are going to bring Super Alpha to you right here in this video. So make sure to stay tuned right to the very end because I have jam-packed information you are absolutely and undoubtedly want to go wanting to see here today so let's shoot right on right now you can see my twitter page is growing rapidly and i'm so grateful for all of you blessed souls that are subscribing you can see that i've been posting a ton of um people's content and sharing a number of things so yeah i mean this is the life cycle of humans go to school find a job pay off debt climb a ladder vacation for two weeks pay off a mortgage and die it's terrible I did also say to you that I believe that Brett could possibly 30x the cycle still, and I still believe that that is in play. And we are pretty much getting into the altcoin and Bitcoin uh, cycles at this moment. I have all I have been sharing with you for a number of weeks and months the difference in the charts here. Um, I do want to go and share this video with you here. I actually think it's really absolutely hilarious, but I will do that a little bit later on today's video so make sure to stay tuned right to the very end because i am going to give you guys super offer right here right now and today you can see that the cryptocurrency market cap is absolutely blitzing down okay very super simple the market is crashing on its ass right now the volume is increasing but the one thing that i am noticing is that rsi and a number of the others are bottoming up now remember that this is on the daily and if you guys want to trade with me use my link down below in the comments for you then you can come and trade with me but look how bitcoin is currently being bought back up as we speak on this line right now so for me i don't feel as though you know, that we've got a, a very very long way to go any further down because I believe that we're hitting our points and you can see here that every single time we hit these points boom we broke through we retested this and we broke up now look at us we're retesting this level here once again so i would like to see us stay above this box that's just what i would expect to see but today we've had a crazy massive major sell -off. and i'm going to show you why in a few moments make sure to stay tuned but for now my trades are still in profit, even if they down like 50% from the all-time high. No problemas. I will be entering more into my trade in this position. So I will show you in a short little moment and let's get on with it. So as you can see here, Mt. Gox is about to distribute 9.2 billion in Bitcoin to creditors July 2024. So this you can see is the letter that there is a rehabilitation plan for Mt. Gox and that they'll be releasing about $9 billion worth of Bitcoin and uh, that will be distributed out to the creditors. So if you guys think that this is a joke, well, we're going to have a look at some of the buying the dip opportunities because this was the FTX crash here down at 26,000 and currently, okay, this this level here was 25,000 right at the bottom once again and this level is where we are and we're at the FTX level but I will show you that in my charts in a little while so stay tuned with me but Mount Gox is getting ready to make the payments and get out so it is what it is it's been 100 days since the all-time high for Bitcoin it's okay let it do its thing let it just drop because right now while it's busy dropping here this is the best the last best opportunity that you actually have to get any of this crypto i did always say to you and if you watched my videos and you're part of my channel i said to you that i believe that bitcoin could come down to the 60 to 58k level so maybe we're not even done yet because 58k is all the way down here guys so yeah we could see a little bit more shocking of the selling of bitcoin coming through but you actually wonder who's selling but well i would say that it's probably uh on the basis of sh people shitting themselves because the mount gox distribution is going to be about 9.2 billion dollars but and that's a very big but all i'd like to say to you is that there is no ways I am selling any of my Bitcoin because we have the ETF 
for Ethereum being launched on the 2nd of July. So why on earth would anybody be selling their Bitcoin? Because I doubt people are going to be selling their Bitcoin to throw into Ethereum, even though that's how the cycles move. Bitcoin is still the king and the king daddy of crypto. And is Dull the next micro strategy? Mr. Michael Dull, he put out a tweet that he was going to, uh, well, this was his tweet, the cookie monster eating Bitcoin. And yeah, it just is what it is. So all I have to say to you is that there is absolutely incredible. So people who have been in Bitcoin for five plus years, what stories and lessons can you share with the newbies? We'll see about that. And uh, yeah, remember when CNBC had a funeral for Bitcoin at 6K? Well, guess what? Bitcoin is way... They're at 40,000 and there was Ripple. I think we'll miss you most of all, Brad Garlinghouse. And then there were the characters, Bitcoin Jesus, the Oracle of Bitcoin, all 500 Ethereum co-founders, and who could forget... Well, all I can say to you is that I'm not interested. All I, all I can say to you right now is that... <clears throat> Even though we've been at the limits and we are at the all time high, I'm going to have a little bit of a look at you because Mt. Gox are selling 9 billion in Bitcoin, Germany selling $3 billion, and the Bitcoiners are, hell yeah, let's go chill out and buy some more of that Bitcoin that these boys are selling. Because all I can say to you is, is that while they are selling, BlackRock are accumulating it. BlackRock are accumulating the Bitcoin that are going to be sold. So you can see here that back in New York City and back in the Microsoft NVIDIA, NVIDIA is officially in the elite top two holdings in XLK, replacing Apple, which has now has a pleb waiting. So Microsoft, NVIDIA, Apple, wow, smashing Apple by 10x here. Shares hold. Oh, those are shares hold. Okay. Uh, so, all I can say to you is that May was May was just another month. This year, that smashed the old record. ETF launches are now 55% above the past record pace. Not their average, but their record. And now, over one third of all ETFs are less than three years old. Tokenization, my ass. Okay. So 2020, 2021, 22, 23, 24 average day. Okay, that's the average of all of these beautiful Bloombergs, uh, these, these analysis. Well, let's move on to some news that we have out here for us today. So the first little bit of news is Trader, they're called May 2021 collapse, warns that uh, warns Bitcoin may witness another 20% correction following the support break. So I don't know about you, but if you recall, we actually a while ago said that Bitcoin could come down about 35% from its high. Okay, so its high is there. We're now officially 17%, so 35% would bring us right back down pretty much to the green zone here at $45,000. Is it going to hit that level? It's not impossible, okay? But I doubt it because it should be sought, sport, supported by the ribbons here, and there should be a very strong level of uh, support here on the 55K or the ribbons support, the upward sloping support. But right now we also have support in this region. We have a very oversold RSI. We have a very oversold MACD and a very kind of weighted down PMO. So we are seeing a few things that are happening out there. And right now you can see we are literally crashing on our asses. So I'd like to go and say to you that maybe the hand pattern didn't quite form yet as it should have as i thought it was going to but if we look at the dominance the dominance is literally getting ready to see we literally have not seen this the alt once the dominance reaches this kind of extended level and right now it's just been bumping around and i tell you why because this time people know what to do 
Crypto knows what to do, and we know how to play this game against the bigger players. And the bigger players can't fool us, and they can try to take us out of the market. But it's very unlikely that they're going to get that right if you know how to huddle hard huddle hard and that's it okay uh so <clears throat> with the trend line breaking a weighted outlook has to shift further to consolidation of btc over the short term looking either for a range to form on the 23 firm or support at the buy zone on the 38 firm. This may well, well set up for a better fourth quarter. So the 23 is up there and the 38 is down here. So it's not impossible because that yellow uh, fib is all the way down there through the baseline of the baseline of the, the highs and the kind of the tap and the confirmation level. So it's not impossible for it to do that. I do like that type of analysis, but that doesn't mean that it's going to end up being true. So still wanting to see some follow through on the monthly to confirm a change of trend. These things take time. They do. So right now we're just chilling. We're just chilling hard sideways and that's it. Okay. So if you subscribe to BTC for your cycle theory, then it may not help you much with the top again. However, if you subscribe to the LTC theory, it may once again be useful. So the LGC theory is the logarithmic growth channel curve. You can go and find that on TradingView if you like. You can go and check that out. But today you can see the crypto market is down by 5%. So the market is bleeding. And the trading volume has been about $92 billion. We are down at $2.3 billion, literally about $500 billion has come out of the crypto space over the last few days. Now, Bitcoin is sitting at 1.112. That means two, 300 odd, because this was nearly a 1.5 trillion. Bitcoin has been taken, it has taken about 300 billion of that out of the market. So very very interesting and ethereum is kind of just chilling and sitting at the moment at this level and it's even though it's a bit down it was sitting at about 450 billion dollars so i would say right now that we are literally just taking it easy chilling but this is another phenomenal point to continue to accumulate your favorite altcoins. You can use my Bybit link down below, pinned in the comments there for you, and get up to $30,000 deposit bonus. And you can use my Bitflex link down, pinned in the comment for you, and get up to $88,888 bonus. Therefore, together, getting a total of $128,000 to go and trade for free with. Well, of course, you have to put your deposit your 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 deposit in, into the account but that just is what it is so i want to go and share with you this bitcoin okay we have said to you that it possibly could be forming a head and shoulders pattern now we're just okay here we're okay we're still in the ribbon let us be in the ribbon like that is okay this right here is our major, major, major support level. And that's why I said, I doubt it will be going below 58K. Okay, I, told, I said this to you at the beginning of this video. So, and I said this because this is, this chart and this analysis that I've drawn out for you is my own personal conviction of crypto and Bitcoin. And I'm gonna show you why in a few moments. Well, first of all, even though we're having Bitcoin collapse on the daily ribbon right now, and the ribbon is crossing over, and generally on the daily when the ribbon does cross over, that does become uh, quite extraordinarily bearish. So I'd like to take you to, to an example of that because we crossed over the ribbon there, we crossed over the ribbon there, and we crossed over the ribbon there, there, okay, and also all the way up here. So we crossed over the ribbon at that point, and that was very, very bearish, but have we reached a bear top for Bitcoin? I don't, I don't believe so. I don't think so. 
Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Have we reached the bottom for Bitcoin or is there still low to go? Now, I don't know where my chart is where I had the shoulder, uh, the left shoulder and the right shoulder and, uh, sorry, and the head and the right shoulder over here. Right now, you can see that we are currently busy performing a retest all the way down here at the support level. Why is that not okay? So, like, let it be okay. Does it look like I'm actually shitting myself here? No. Why is that? Because even though we've got us this long donkey candle here, um, really, just this is not the 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 beginning of this phase. So, uh, this is not the beginning of a bear phase. Okay, and I say that with conviction because if I look at our longer term charts. You can really actually just see that Bitcoin is looking ultra juicy, super duper long. Just is what it is. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. So I'm going to go and show you just a few indicators that I want to share with you. So even though on the weekly right now we had a sell last week, we are still in closing that sell. We had a sell here, boom, and it just kind of hovered sideways and then it pumped back up. It hovered sideways, it retested this exact level that it's busy retesting right now, and then it hopped back up. Are we about to do the same thing? I do certainly believe so, and I'm going to show you why with absolute and ultra conviction. So make sure to stay tuned right to the very end of this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are watching this and have not yet subscribed. I want to go through a few more news articles with you. Just skim over a few things because Bitcoin whale traders enter a risk off mode. According to Crypto Quan CEO, top analyst issues Bitcoin warning says BTC at last line of defense before a colossal breakdown, which I actually do agree because honestly, you can see where the next level, level of support is on, on Bitcoin. The colossal breakdown would bring us down to this 48 to 45K level. That would be mad, mad, mad intense drop. And honestly, guys, that would probably never be seen in the space. That's down another 20% from where it currently is, bringing us down a total, potential total. Oh, well, there you go, 35%. So it's not impossible, is what I'm just trying to say to you guys. Uh, you know, and essentially what is being said here is a colossal 20% down further. If that does happen, altcoins are going to bleed to death. But guess what? That will be your one final opportunity to gain as much altcoins as you possibly could in your altcoin bags. Now, I just want to say something to you, okay? Before I move on, I'm bleeding. I was at 3000% and I was at 400% over here. And that's just my trades, let alone my altcoin stacks. My altcoin stacks are bleeding. They're currently lying on the side of the street, busy bleeding. But I'm pretty sure yours are too. And I'm pretty sure most people in crypto are experiencing that in their crypto bags that they have, their altcoin bags very specifically that they have been currently accumulating. Right now, Bitcoin is on the way at the 60,000 level. 60,000 is a very strong psychological level. And with all of our indicators that I want to go and share with you, I just need to say to you right now this one very, very important thing. Our two indicators, okay? We've had a sell here. That sell happened a few days ago. We're having a twist over here. There was a twist over here at the same level that bounced off and broke back up and started to open the ribbon once again. I wonder, are we possibly going to do something very similar at this point? It is a very, very high possibility however i do want to proceed with caution with you because if mount gox are selling okay 9.2 billion dollars worth of bitcoin that's all well and everything because it's not all going to happen on one day this is the thing that i think we need to realize it's not going to happen on one day it's going to sell a few couple hundred million dollars worth of bitcoin every single day until they have sold out as much as they actually just need to to pay back the, the creditors. So it is what it is. Right now, we are literally at the one most critical point that we have ever seen. 2016, this was the cup and then the kind of pattern that was getting ready to break up. 2020, the cup, 
pattern getting ready to break out. 2024, the cup and the pattern. Look at this. This did not actually pull down that bad at all. Okay, so I doubt anything more different than what has happened in the past is probably a very good indication as to what is currently happening today. This requires effort to tell us that we are literally about to see the biggest, craziest bull cycle come about in Bitcoin. If you still don't believe me, then I just, I don't know how to help you. I don't know what to say, but Phantom Foundation is committing over $144 million in FTM to Sonic Labs Accelerator program. Group lobbying group FaceX raises $160 million in month May. I just, <laughs> crypto is getting millions and billions in flowing into it right now. Why on earth would you not be positioned in crypto to be able to get yourself positioned for one of the craziest altcoin cycles that has ever existed? Because yes, we may have made crazy gains there. Yes, we may have made crazy gains there. Yes, we are going to make crazy gains here right now. And if we're looking at the total two, including Ethereum on the weekly, we are also just still within the flag pattern, bouncing on the ribbons, getting ready for a strong move to the upside. The RSI is oversold, the MACD is oversold, the PMO is oversold. We are looking absolutely phenomenal. And I did say to you that we would possibly break up, boom, 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 and look at something like that. So you can see that from there, 1.2 to 1.26, down all the way to about 970 billion, okay? That's 300, about 250 to 300 billion dollars that have been vacuumed out of the market through this kind of sideways move here at the moment. Yes, the markets are in desperate times right now, but I'm buying those bags. I'm buying those bags. If you're selling those bags right now, I'm buying them. Okay. And I'm going to talk about two or three coins just now that I have been personally accumulating a substantial amount on the drop. Now, the total three market cap, the old coins have been way oversold. Since this level, it has been way oversold and we're still continuing to press down at the moment. But guess what? We are retesting the baseline of the ribbons as we can see here. And that is pretty darn awesome is all I can say because that is going to give us a very strong support level to get that bounce up that we essentially need. Isn't it very interesting that such a long time ago when I drew this chart, for you, what did I say? I said from this level here where we were drawing the inverse head and shoulders pattern, boom, we break up. So there's my arrow, we break up. Boom. I thought we were going to hit this level here and stop. But guess what? We went through it. We found support on it. And now we're breaking underneath. It. So cool. Maybe we pull down to the bottom of the ribbon just here in alignment with my arrow. And then we bounce nicely off of that level to get the momentum to break through to this level, capitulate at that zone, and then start to make the next leg up and break through. Boom, 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 boom the all-time high of the total to market cap because once we break through the all-time high we are in massive price discovery for altcoins and uh, my gosh the amount of altcoins that we will accumulate and grow on and explode with is going to absolutely change lives in this moment right here so cool yes we're down a little bit whoopty freaking do okay however i do want to say to you I am possibly considering selling my one XRP bag to get me a little bit more uh, Pepe, a little bit more Say, and a lot of more of um, Toncoin. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think about that. So Say is also on that 618. It's bouncing nicely at the bottom with the selling pressure starting to diminish. Okay. The one thing that we are seeing is US oil starting to pump once again. However, there is a major, major resistance level right here. As you can see, we have hit resistance. Are we going to hit resistance here once again? Because it looks like it's not getting much buy pressure. If we do hit resistance there, 
that is going to be a very very strong signal because we would have broken here retested and basically collapsed and failed here on oil which would possibly bring oil back down to plus minus about 52 dollars a barrel which would make the economy go absolutely ballistic i just want to have a look at here the moment oil sold monday 6th of jan 2020 let's go and see monday 6th of jan 2020 let's go and find monday 6th of jan 2020 Let us go and see Monday, 6th of Jan, March, Feb. There you go. Monday, 6th of Jan. Guess what? The market went up and then it had a crash because of COVID and then it went up. That's it. That's it. I don't know what else you want, but welcome to the bottom of altcoins. Analyst uh, says Bitcoin dominance ready for the largest plummet in over four years why are they seeing that well 2017 2021 2024 i don't know about you but i'm ridiculously bullish especially considering eth is about to get its etf launch we're in a down sloping wedge for Ethereum and right now it's busy testing. It could be faking out. I don't know what it's busy doing. I don't actually care. I'm just buying more of these altcoins and Bitcoin and Ethereum. And that's just that. That's all it is that I'm I'm just doing. So, and I just buy with whatever it is that I possibly can buy with. Now I want to go and show you a few things. Okay. Let's pull this chart nicely together. Okay, first of all, I just want to share with you that this was essentially the start of the bull cycle, this one here, okay, right here, before we went on to break the all-time high here, okay, this, because this was the blue line and the blue dot, and guess what, the same happened here, okay, the blue dot told us to buy, and then we bought, and then we made lots of money, and then we had halving, and then we pour back and then carry on. Guess what? Blue dot tells us to buy. Blue dot, okay, telling us to buy. Uh, blue dot telling us to buy. Blue dot telling us to buy. So I wonder what that blue dot is. We'll talk about that in a moment. But for now, let's look at your PMO oscillator. And I'd like to actually zoom out a little bit and go more on the weekly time frame. So this is the PMO oscillator, okay? Get a very, very good squeeze at this because the PMO oscillator is actually seeing a mother. Of a down sloping trend. Now, this was the halving, this was the halving, and this is the halving. So, Right now, the blue line, unfortunately, has crossed over, and generally, that is a little bit bearish. Could we pull back a little bit? Because we have hit a bit of resistance there, a little bit of resistance there, and some resistance here. Maybe we need a bit of support somewhere along this current level. If we do get support, we have quite a way to push up to this absolutely major, major resistance level. And the irony behind this is, is that this cycle is so powerful that I would not be surprised if instead of us just cruising up to this level that we kind of hover and then possibly pull up maybe to this level and then pull back and crash right through down here to the support zone possibility let me know what you guys think about that one down in the comments below then i'd like to take us out onto the macd because the macd is also indicating to us that there is a very very strong bearish indication when the blue crossed over the red crossed over the red we had very strong bearish the bearishness continued downwards until pretty much 
all the way that the blue line started to reach the towards close towards the bottom here so in other words there's a bit of strong sell pressure on the um on the macd bars okay which means that the, those are the volume bars then next thing is the stochastic rsi so i'd like to and i'm not even going to look at the chart with you guys i'm not even going to look at it but I wonder why my st stochastic is looking like this. I actually want it in the 90 zone and in the 10 zone. That's how I like my stochastics, guys. Uh, and I do that because you can see there that there are very, very good buying opportunities when it does reach that. So I'm going to circle for you. And in fact, I'm going to just put a different color vertical line. So this here was the was the lowest i mean this is where we currently at look at where we at we had a double bounce and then we started to creep our way back up bounce and a bounce i really think that we cannot really go much lower than this there's very little soul pressure left on bitcoin at this point there is really nothing here so i don't know about you but i'm gonna just give you some indication there so i'm gonna give you a few very very strong signals to tell us okay and i'm just putting these green ones here so you can see where the price action happened in the chart because every single one of these are pretty much at the current level that we're experiencing right here right now except the blue has not yet crossed over so let's go and witness where this is so first of all here is your first one okay boom Cool, we just chilled sideways. We just chilled sideways here. Then all of a sudden we made a rally. Then here, boom, okay. We rally, okay. Then here, boom, we rally. Then here, what did we do? We rallied a little bit, okay. Not too much, but we rallied a little bit. Then guess what? Here, boom, skyrocketed. And then, oh, shit, guess what? Another one. Oh, yeah, the green line. I wonder what we're going to do now because none of them where I drew the green lines for us the vertical green lines none of them actually went dropped down so I like that I think that's absolutely incredible what do you think down in the comments below now I want to go and share the final and last uh, indicator that I'm going to share with you at this current point but before I do that I hope you have enjoyed this video i'm going to share with you my two or three L coins uh, that i am very very interested and in, in at this point and i'll probably mention a couple others and yes i am doing videos for you in the background with them but for now come and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you know when more content comes out from my channel let's dull there you go so right back onto the BTC chart. Now, this indicator is called the hash ribbons indicator. I want to go and show you very simply how interestingly so those very, very beautiful green lines actually coincide so nicely with opportunity. So here is the red line. Okay? The moment we get red on the hash ribbons, it's a buying opportunity. Red, buy. Back, go all the way back in history. Red, buy. So there's a there's a lag, and then it tells the blue dot tells us to buy. There's a buy. There's a buy. There's a buy. Look at the red. There's a buy. There's a buy. There's a buy. Oh, guess what? There's a buy. There's another buy. Oh, what? There's another buy on the red. Oh, and another buy on the red. Oh, guess what? And another one. And another one. And another. And another one. I think, and another one bites the dust. Yes, another one bites the dust. So guess what? This lagged on for so freaking long. We were almost so close to getting a buy here, but then it carried on rallying. And then guess what? It chilled, and then we got the buy signal. And then we got another buy signal here. And guess what? We are busy building up currently and are so, so very close to that buy signal. Look how many capitulation um hash ribbons they are right now with a very strong red a halving date that existed right there at that point my goodness gracious me i don't know about you but ha, ha, ha. with all the indicators showing support signs of very strong support 
I am super bullish. So let's go and move on to the three altcoins. So definitely one of them is Say. And another one is going to be Pepe. This is my Pepe coin, okay, chart. Not Pepe, not this Pepe. Not this little dude down here, wherever he is. Not this dude, okay. It's the actual original Pepe coin. That one, wow. I actually bought in some here at this $4.50 level and we have obliterated. So I'm down like, pull it 40% right now. I'm going to be buying some more. Well, why is that? Because guess what? We've reached another level of support. The RSI is at support. The MACD is getting ready to cross over and the PMO is doing the same. Even though the ribbon is crossed, it could be a fake out just like this, okay? Because once we did this, look at what the pump on Pepe coin from this current level was to the upside, it was 170% pump. My next one is definitely Brett and I am going to be doing two individual and separate videos for you guys on Brett and Pepe and a number of others. So hit that notification bell and we will delve right into that. So here today, we got, you can see that there is a little bit, this is a warning tail, warning tail candle, okay, to tell us that we could drop down, but we are finding support on this current level right now. And yes, we may kind of trade capitulate here for now, but eventually we're going to break out of this. And once Brett breaks out of it, my golly goodness gracious me, we are about to see ridiculous gains up to 127 and a 234% just up to the previous all-time high, let alone what it could possibly do going beyond that. If you have enjoyed this wonderful and incredible video, well, I hope you can subscribe. My other few top coins that I'm definitely interested in, Ethereum, Solana, Toncoin, Cardano, yes and no. Uh, Av Avalanche, definitely. Chainlink, definitely. Polkadot, definitely. Near, definitely. Uh, ICP, definitely. Fetch, definitely. Casper, definitely. Aptos, love. Monero, dig it. Render, dig it. HBAR, yes. Cosmos, Arbitrum, Sui, Filecoin, Phantom, Mantle, Stacks, Immutable, Sui, Injector, VeChain, Maker, The Graph. Uh, our weave definitely dog with a hat, dog with a hat. My gosh, fallen out the tree, also down 27.5 percent. Ondo, yes, please. Phantom, yes, please. Floki, yes, please. Mantle, yes. Theta, Jasmine. All right, these are all coins I have been talking about on this community for a very long time, and today, and probably only today, you are getting mad, insane discounts blood redness in the market today so make sure to use my links down below get yourself some more crypto and let's go make money together out there in the space thank you for being here with me my beautiful special and blessed souls really do appreciate you you stay blessed and you have a wonderful evening if you can do so by sharing this video with some of your mates and friends and subscribing that would be truly appreciated check you later much love